I'm gonna tell you something. I'm back. You know, this is a very sensitive topic. And usually when it's brought up, most of us, especially sisters my age or uh, brothers my age, the brothers are pretty receptive because they whole lives are messed up because of child support. But a lot of the sisters get very angry and they don't want to take responsibility for the roles that they play in the emotional development of their daughters or their sons. And why they they feel the need to fill in an emotional void with sex. Because usually it's I want somebody to love me for the rest of my life. Then I feel the baby will. So they make a conscious effort. And then a lot of them after the newness is wore off. They don't want the baby anymore. Or they leave them with every Tom, Dick and Harry. So the babies are suffering through an their whole existence and then we're creating a whole subculture full of people who think uh, that it's okay to lay down and make babies everywhere and no responsibility or marriage or anything to the mother we create more and more people like this and at some point um, it's not funny anymore. This is a, called concentration camp behavior. Slave behavior. And the reason why I'm, most of us don't address it because a lot of times it's people in our family. You know, we're slaves. You know, we're connected to the slave. It doesn't matter if you got a bunch of letters behind your name. D D D E F G H I J K L M N O P. Doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, when a cop pulls you over, you know, he don't see you no different than that guy that got 30 kids by 11 different women. And you can be a Harvard grad. If we're not part of the solution, then we're part of the problem. And... We're going to have to stop living our lives in fear and start checking this behavior in because we can't afford it no more. The black race cannot afford this behavior, just like the white race can't afford it either. Poor white people, if you're not part of the slave owner 1%, you really don't have any, there's no benefits to you being prejudiced. I don't use the word racist because you don't have any power over me. And there's nothing that you can do that can indirectly affect my life. I mean, on a, uh, uh, you know, just uh, a, uh, a everyday quality of life level. So everybody has prejudices, and I don't worry myself with those individuals. It is the institution of racism that's going to affect you for a uh, white as well. That's why I think that as human beings, we should focus on more on what we have in common than what we have that's different. And the reason I say that because in my town right now, you know, we have a bunch of suits going on from the police officers pulling people over, sticking their fingers up their asses, uh, digging it in, twirling it around, and doing all types of perverted stuff in the name of searching for drugs. I mean, this is appalling. And I think at some point, everybody got to have something they'll prop, you know, that they're going to die for. I'm not going to die for no bullshit, but I'd be damned if I let somebody violate me like that. 
They're going to have to kill me. Because I swear to God, they ain't nobody sticking their fingers up my behind and up my... Okay. If they haven't been invited. But what I saw, there's... Uh, and it's going around in the net. There was a male and a female white officer who did two white women the same way. And I swear to God, I swear, when they were searching them, they were getting on. Digging all up in their breasts, all down. Then the lady didn't even change her gloves when she searched the other one. And one of them kept saying, you know, I feel pretty violated, you yeah. know. You know how white people, they still be, can be proper, even though some of them, they going through some bullshit. They, they were really tolerant. And, you know, my perspective and perception changed at that moment because these crazy ass cops and the police state that we're living in, now they'll do any of us that's poor. Any of us that's not the elite. And so we need to figure out reasons that we can come together and be a mighty fist. As opposed to this stupid color shit that's keeping us crazy. Because really, if you prejudice, it don't really matter. You don't even gotta like me. I don't like you. You know, that's fine. Some people don't like fat people. But... You know, when you have to work with that fat person, you might get to know them and you go, hey, you know, I might have a certain feeling about fat people. I don't feel that way. Or still do. But it don't affect your living. Racism is a little more powerful bitch. It affects everything that we do. Okay? You get the book. The, the, the ISIS papers. You know. What is it? Education, entertainment, um, um, economics, labor, law, religion, politics, um, sex, and war. I think that's a well. It affects everything. Jim Crow was a law. Jim Crow wasn't about no something so petty as prejudice. It was a law. They said I had to drink out of a color fountain. That's really effect on my ass. Okay, so that's the kind of stuff we're talking about. And as white folk, guess what? Y'all might think y'all color is the past. Only so far. If you poor, you're gonna get the same thing because it's really about class. It's classism and Zionism, all that type of stuff. Anyway. That's my rant for today. Wake up, slaves. You cannot continue to produce children for the prison industrial complex. That's where the asses is going. Keep your dicks inside your pants. Okay? And you dumb women keep your legs closed and stop having babies by every time Dick and Harry that you meet. Why don't you wait? You should make it a rule. You can't have a child until you are at least past 28. That should be. None of none of this teenage shit. You're not developed enough for this type of society. It's not like it was hundreds and hundreds of years ago. You can't have that today in this technical society and compete with other people. We can't be producing uh, just bottom feeders for society to feed off of. And we should be sick of it by now. Till next time, that's food for thought. Hotel, family.